Hello again, Herd. We're the Herdsmen. I'm Mark. I'm Grant. And we are just tickled that you've joined us today. We are bringing you today a wide variety of really weird psychedelic popcorn. <laughs> yeah, these are popcorns from Jolly Time, but more importantly, they are popcorns from my awesome nieces, Nicole and Megan, and your awesome cousins, but my awesome nieces, uh, Nicole and Megan, Megan and Nicole, Megan and Nicole, so I've said them equally two times. They both got top billing once. That's just, yeah. This is true. They live in Sioux City, Iowa. Hey, we're not... The fine, fine city of Sioux City. City. Meet me in Sioux City. A city. City, city Iowa. Um, there is a company called Jolly Time Popcorn, and they make these popcorns there. So, we're going to trial these. They sent us these for Christmas, and we are very excited. We have waited until now so we could do this video before eating it. Uh, let's get started. You start on this one, the first one. Uh, the first one is sour cream and chive popcorn. Now, while you're opening that, we love popcorn. You know, it's really starting to scare me now. When we talk about food, usually we say we love it to all food. Very rarely have we said, we don't like these things. But the popcorn is one of those things we love because we love movies and we love to go to movies. <laughs> and, and We're having a little technical <laughs> difficulties with this one. And we love to go to, oh my gosh, we love to go to movies. They're taking the, and, uh, and we, we love, I don't know how to describe it, they package food. There we go route of making it impossible to open. Much like the foods from Asia that we've opened. That was what I was There you go. About. Yeah. So uh, this is this is the first. We love popcorn. We love movies. Uh, we've been through this. Sour cream and onion. I mean, that uh, that's automatic for me. There's no way I'm not going to like this. Guarantee it. What do you think? Well, and I, I, I have to eat it like this. I think it's good, but I don't know what the chive tastes like. I don't know what it tastes like by itself. I can well, definitely taste the sour cream. Sour cream and chive. Chives and onion. Mm. It's like a, a baby onion. Mm. Not really a baby onion. Wild onion. That's what it is. All right. Uh, I love that. I, um, I, I like sour cream and onion everything. Sour cream and chive. I knew I was going to love that, so I love it. And you're still eating it, so apparently you like it as well. I can hear. All right, this one is the Red Hot Cinnamon with the easy opening bag. Again, there we go. All right, not so bad this time. All right, Red Hot Cinnamon. Mm. You know, I didn't want to like this. Because I'm one of those people, either caramel corn or, you know, seasoned savory corns. This is one of those, it's great, but it's deceiving. I, I, it's not hot. Yeah. It's very cinnamony. I love the cinnamon flavor, but there's no aspect that I would call red hot. Yeah, there's no, there's no heat to this at all. So they don't mean red hot, red hot. I think they just mean like, like red hot. So those candies. Yeah. Because that's what it tastes like. Yeah, but oh, this those good. taste somewhat spicy. Yeah, yeah, they're a little spicy. I like that one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need a bowl of that. Or 10. Or 12. Or 20. Alright, the next one is key lime pie. Key lime pie. I love key lime pie. As a matter of fact, uh, my mother-in-law, your grandma, made us key lime pie for Christmas. Remember? Uh, it was good. Days, those days are still a little hazy to me. Those are, <laughs> they, that was just a few days ago. Give this a try. Key lime pie. Um, and it was really good. So, uh, Grandma Lois, you know, thanks for the key lime pie. That was really good. Um, hmm. Did Grandpa Merle cook that too? Should we be giving him credit as well? Eh, uh, no. Oh. Both, Both of you. Man, Both of you. Thank you. We appreciate it. All right, key lime pie. All right, here we go. What do you think? Tastes good. I'm not getting a strong lime flavor. I'm getting a, a little bit of it, but it doesn't. It doesn't bring back nostalgia for having key huh. lime pie. So 
doesn't quite work as much for me. It's wow. still good. Yeah, it's all right. Um, I don't get the key lime in it either. Yeah. I get a sweetness. And I like that sweetness, don't yeah. get me wrong. No, I do too. But I also don't get any citrus, which you should. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right, that's, that's the weak link so far. Okay, now here you go. Yeah, this is going to be where it fails. Root beer float. And once again with us. Root beer. It's awesome. We love it. Yeah, root beer. Root beer floats. We're pretty fond of it. There you go. Give that a try. Root beer float. Now, to achieve this, you can't just have the root beer flavor. And you can't have an overly ice creamy flavor. They have to meld. They have to work. So that you taste root beer in a creamy, ice creamy flavor. What do you think? I don't know. It tastes like root beer hard candy, but I'm not getting real creaminess of milk. The root beer aspect's good. If they had just called this root beer... Yeah, I agree. I, I'm not fond of... Jolly Time, I think... I think you need to team up with A&W on this and get that flavor. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I don't like the root beer flavor they picked. I get a root beer flavor, but it's not a good root beer flavor in my opinion. It's kind of average, I'd yeah, say. It's, it's, it, it's kind of like a Kroger brand root beer. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> it's kind of like the generic root beer. So I, yeah, I'm not, uh, not crazy about that one. What's this one? Raspberry cheesecake. Oh, uh, gotta love that. Cheesecake. You kidding me? Cake. Cheese. Raz. Berry. I really wasn't going there, but okay. All right. Yeah. Raspberry cheesecake. How, how can you possibly not like this? Raspberry cheesecake. Raspberry. Oh. The, um, what's first going to hit you is the raspberry flavor. Then you're going to get a slight tinge of cheese, but you're going to have to have maybe a handful, two handfuls to oh. really appreciate it. You know what I mean? I just got, oh man. Wait, Wait let me get you a piece. Try this. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay. So part of what they do is after they have the popcorn, they take a raspberry, uh, like a frosting, okay? I, I don't want to call, call it anything less than a frosting, because it's thick. Yeah. I just got a glump of that. Oh my gosh, that was good. That was yeah. so good. Um, yeah, I better try this again to make sure I'm fair. <laughs> yeah, you just want another excuse to have. You're right. That's really good. Uh, like I said, I am not a sweet popcorn person. I am now. That's that's one that I would get every single time. All right, our last one. This is called birthday cake. Now, birthday cake. Let's talk about that while I'm taking 25 minutes to open this package. You a fan of birthday cake? Yes. Okay. I'm not really. Birthday cake always seems so bland to me. It always seems so, and my favorite word to use on the show, pedestrian. Average. Kind of like they just kind of slop them together and you put frosting. You know, I mean, they, they were never something special to me. I'm not sure that this is going to be meaningful for me. What do you think? It's not. I mean... The, when they have like ice cream made with birthday cake, it's really good. They are. But this, it, it's forgettable. There's there's something complex with the raspberry cheesecake yeah. that makes it great. This is kind of generic sweet. Exactly. That, that's exactly right. <clears throat> this is just pink, sugary popcorn. Yeah. It it, there's no flavor to it other than sweet. It dishonors the name of birthday cake. Luckily, I hadn't held up birthday cake terribly high, so 
Uh, now it hasn't it. fallen very far. So, here we go. Now, as a whole, let's rate this as a whole first. Okay, as a whole. Jolly Time flavored popcorns. What are you going to give them? I'm going to give them a three and a half. Wow. Okay, what? This, this, and this are really, really good. Yeah. And uh, they really surprised you. And, and I will agree with you on this. I'm going to go three, though. Strong three. They didn't blow me away. Now, individually, one of them did. And yeah. I'm going to address that. But overall, good popcorns. Good flavored popcorns. Mm -hmm. I really enjoyed them. All right. This one first. Sour cream and chocolate. I think I'm going to go with a two on this one because it's really good, but it's nothing new. Totally agree with you. Um, it's it, it's good. It's popcorn. It's sour cream. It's chive, but it's not like, wow, I've got to have more of that. It, it, was, it was good, but it's not blowing me away or anything. All right, cinnamon. The red hot cinnamon. Red hot cinnamon. cinnamon. Sorry. Uh, I will give that a two and a half because... It's something that I expected not to be good, but it is very good, but it's still not mind-blowing. As he said before, it's not something i got to have. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to agree with you. I'm going three, though, instead of two and a half. I'm going three, because that is, that is probably my second favorite. That is the one that I would say, yeah, I'm going to get some more of that. Okay? Key lime pie. Where are you going with that one? Uh, I'm going... One and a half, because it's not bad, and it actually, I can taste a little bit of the citrus, okay. but not much. Okay. I'm going one, just because I like the popcorn aspect. The key lime, I think, missed it for me totally. Mm. Totally missed it for me. Give it a one. Root beer float. A one. A one. I'm the same way. I'm giving it a one. Um, I don't like the root beer they chose to get the flavor from. I, I don't know that, that I, I think they kind of just dropped the ball there. They picked a generic root beer flavor and grabbed onto it. So That's kind of forgettable. It is. It, re it really is. So one from both of us now. Let's do this one. Raspberry cheesecake. <coughs> I'm going to give that a three. Okay. And I think... It's still not as mind-blowing, but it is pretty mind-blowing. I'm going three and a half. That is a new favorite for me. Mm -hmm. I mean, that this is one that I'm going to order and get. Because that that is, that's the best sweet popcorn treat I've ever had. Better than Crunch and Munch, better than Fiddle Faddle. This is better than both of those to me. So, love that one. Three and a half for me. All right, last one. Birthday cake. Sadly, I was I was a fan before this. I'm giving it a one. Yeah, it's forgettable. It's it generic is. sweet. It is. It, it's just popcorn with sugar, pink colored sugar on it. Uh, right there with the root beer for me. Just a one. Not strong. So overall, we love these. Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's three that I really love. Um, you know, full disclosure, we're going to eat all of them. I mean, these bags are going to be empty in the next three hours, probably. Um, maybe we'll save some for Mom. Maybe. She, she'd probably like some. So, you know, we're still going to eat them. But, uh, you know, overall they were awesome. And Megan and Nicole and your wonderful parents, uh, thank you so much. We really enjoyed doing this. We enjoyed uh, the popcorn. It was a wonderful, wonderful gift. Uh, we hope you guys got the very large check that we sent you um, in the uh, the SUV that had a big bow on it. It was in your front yard uh, Christmas morning. Hope it was there, and hope you're enjoying it. For the Herdsman, <laughs> that is all for today. Please be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. We thank you for joining us today, and always remember, until next time, don't, don't be, be afraid, afraid to, to join, join the herd. herd. Yeah, herd! herd.